do you ever just have that moment where you're like, something's not right? So I had that moment with my daughter's math, and I want to tell you why we switched to Singapore. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. We talk about all things homeschool, fourth grade, and just enjoying this journey. And we really are enjoying this journey. Um, I may speak a little bit about tears in this video, but overall, we really are enjoying it. So let's just get right into it, right? We switched from a Becca math to Singapore math. And Singapore math comes with actually quite a bit because this is only half the year. So we have the dimensions um, version of Singapore math. And there is the textbook, the workbook, the tests, and then the teacher's guide. And this is for all just for the first half of the year. So let me tell you about why we did it. I was working with my daughter and we hadn't switched yet, um, but I was working with her in place value. I was asking her, and I'll just use this as an example because I have it right here, but I was asking her, for example, if you say this number, how do you say that? How do you say this number? And she would say 875,431, which of course is correct. And then I would be like, okay, well, what number's in the tens place? What number's in the thousands place, et cetera. And she knew all of that. And so we're just going right along. And then I said, how many 100s are in 1,000? And she had no idea. And I was like, okay. <laughs> So we went and we started really working on that. And then she could eventually tell me it was 10. And then we were working on how many 100s are in 5,000. And we had to work on it to get to 50. And so I was like, I had all of these, you know, red flags going off that she doesn't understand place value. And it was more than, I mean, like she could regurgitate it. She could definitely, you give her a number and she could tell you what the place value was. She could tell you what was in the hundreds place, thousands place, et cetera. And you ask her to write it in expanded form and she absolutely could do that. Anything that was just purely memorization, she could tell you. But that deeper understanding of how many tens are in a million, how many tens are in 200,000. That was not something that she really had any concept of. And so I started researching and I looked into math curriculum. I looked into, um, I looked into homeschool math curriculums. I looked into um, Christian school math curriculums. I looked into secular private school math curriculums. I looked into um, curriculums for public schools. I looked into math curriculums and I actually bought a different one, which I'm not going to say what the name was, but the problem with this one that we, uh, that we used was um, she didn't like it because it was different. And um, she didn't like it because it was different. It had a hardback book and she wasn't ever used to that. And, but more than that is it was showing concepts in a different way that wanted her to grasp the concepts. And she just stonewalled me. And so I agreed to um, get, a, I agreed to switch curriculum. Um, and so her requests were, <laughs> That it, that it was in color and it was a soft back book. So those were the two requests. And so when I started researching and searching for things and I came across the Singapore dimensions and what I did when I first opened it up and I saw um, on page one, chapter one, it talks about the large numbers. But when you look at this spread and down here, how many groups of 100 are in 10,000? How many groups of 10 are in 10,000? When I saw that, I was like, we have a new math curriculum. 
And so we did switch. We switched, obviously, to the Singapore Dimensions, which I'm very thankful that we did. However, it was not an easy transition because all those times where I want her to understand the concept and not just know one, two, three, these are the steps I'm supposed to take to get the answer, but understand why I'm doing it. That is something that Singapore, I think, does a really good job with, um, is having the larger understanding and understanding why you're doing something. Um, but for someone who has been able to, all of her life, just memorize it and then be able to regurgitate the information, it was very, it was a very hard transition to get to understanding why. Okay, yes, that is correct, but why did you do that? Okay, yes, that answer is correct. How did you get there? And so Singapore really wants you to be able to do that. And um, that was something that we have learned how to do. And so we are now, you know, midway through our first year of Singapore and there are no more tears and she already knows. I'll tell you why. Aren't you going to ask me why I did that? And so I'm like, well, yes, I am. So, but it has been a very, I'll say a very bumpy ride to get here, but I'm very thankful for it. So that is in an essence why we switched to Singapore um, math, all about how many tens are in 10,000. <laughs> so thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again.